Hi, I'm Catherine with the Old Country Porch, and today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial along with the recipe for how I make my unicorn bubble scoops. The first ingredient is 11 ounces of baking soda. Then two ounces of cream of tartar. Next is one and a half ounces of cornstarch. And a half ounce of tapioca starch. Next is two and a half ounces of vegetable glycerin. And then one ounce of castor oil. Next is three and a half ounces of SLS. And then the very last ingredient is SASL. And I put this one in at the very end because you need to wear a mask when you're working with it. And as soon as you get it mixed in with the wet ingredients, you can take your mask off. But I always wait till the very end to put this one in there so that there's no chance that it's getting in the air. So I'm going to put my mask on and put two ounces of SASL in and mix it up. So once your dry ingredients are pretty well mixed in, then you can go ahead and add 0.2 ounces of your fragrance oil. And these bubble scoops have three colors, so I'm gonna divide this out into three portions and add my coloring. And the coloring that I'm using today is a liquid soap colorant, and that's because I wanted a more pastel look. If you wanted more bold colors, you can use micas, and that will give it a more deeper pigment. So the consistency that you're looking for is kind of like a raw cookie dough. To get the marble effect that I have with my bubble scoops, all you have to do is take little chunks of each color and I just throw them in on top of each other until I have a good mix.
Now that we have our colors mixed, you need a ice cream scoop, but any ice cream scoop that has this little bar in it will work perfect. So I'm gonna take a piece of freezer paper and start scooping. I like to pack it into the scoop to make sure the whole thing is filled up. And then I put it against the freezer paper and I add pressure as I'm unscooping it. And that will give you the perfect ice cream scoop. So if you've watched my bubble icing recipe video, this is basically the same recipe without the extra step that you need for the icing. So that video has a lot of questions about substituting ingredients, and especially questions about the tapioca starch and the corn starch. I think that you probably could substitute tapioca and corn starch with each other, um, but the ratios are probably not gonna be the same. If you feel like experimenting, go ahead and play around with the recipe. I came up with this recipe about three years ago. I know it took me months to come up with it, get the right texture that I was looking for. Once I got that recipe down, I didn't continue to experiment. So I'm, I really can't say 100%, but theoretically it should be fine to substitute ingredients with like ingredients. So that would be something for you to play around with and experiment and, and come up with the right recipe for the ingredients that you wanna work with. And I'm gonna add some biodegradable glitter to the tops of these. Then you just let these sit for 24 hours and you'll be able to use them or package them then. And if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.